Puts things into perspective, doesn't it? it? Does for sure. I mm -hmm. think we can handle a little cold. Yeah. <laughs> and then, boy, when we look ahead to the weekend, we've got some great weather headed our way, especially if you want to make some outdoor plans, which I encourage you to do today because we're talking sunshine and 70 by the time we get into the weekend. But between now and then, uh, we have upgraded our weather impact. We talked about this yesterday, uh, the cold weather having an impact locally. Now to that alert phase because a first freeze is expected for all of Sunday. Central Indiana National Weather Service upgraded uh, uh, all of the area to a freeze warning when tomorrow morning the impact lows at or below freezing for a few hours early tomorrow morning. So what you need to do, get your home, get your family ready for the cold weather, maybe dig out those heavier coats. We talked about this as well yesterday. There was a gap between the freeze warning issued east and the frost advisory issued south and west, and that gap included Lafayette, Kokomo and Indianapolis. And you can see actual air temperatures from this morning, those lows, upper 30s and low 40s, we weren't nearly as cold as areas to the east where we had clear skies. All dropped to 32 in Richmond this morning, dropped to 36 in Muncie with some widespread frost. It was 36 this morning in Bloomington and Bedford. The difference tonight, we are not expecting that cloud deck to come off Lake Michigan. Skies will clear and clear fast tonight. That will allow those temperatures to drop into the upper 20s and low 30s early tomorrow morning. Already seeing that clearing taking place over downtown where we have 55 clearing over Noblesville 55 degrees. Some breaks in the cloud deck Morris Reservoir 53 and we have 55 in Bunker Hill. So the freeze warning the reason for the weather impact alert for tonight temperatures expected at or below freezing for a good part of central Indiana early tomorrow morning. Grab the heavy coat at the bus stop won't need it tomorrow afternoon will actually be about five to 10 degrees warmer than what we had today as we expect high temperatures tomorrow in the low to mid 60s. As we get into Friday, Friday we're going to start to warm it up. Plenty of sunshine Friday afternoon. Temperatures in the middle and upper 60s. That's a little more seasonal for this time of year where we should be for the middle part of October or so. And then we go above average. 70s arrive this weekend and stick around for several days. Sunshine and 70 on Saturday. Sunshine and 72 on Sunday. We'll stick with highs in the low to mid 70s. Good 10 plus degrees above average through the early part of next week. <laughs> you got a weather impact to talk about. Yes, a weather impact alert. So we've upgraded this because now all of central Indiana under a freeze warning for tonight and tomorrow morning. So that's the when those temperatures that will drop to freezing or slightly below for a few hours. Thursday morning. What you need to do is get ready now for the cold weather and here's a list of a few things. Disconnect those outdoor hoses. Put away your patio furniture. Obviously you don't need to do that right this minute. You might save that one for this weekend when it's going to be really nice out. Check the furnace filter and maybe make an appointment for a furnace tune up. That's on my list. Clean the gutters and reverse those ceiling fans. All of those things can help as the colder weather arrives. It will be here tonight but it doesn't last long. 60s tomorrow and Friday and then a stretch of 70 degree warmth and I don't have rain chances in the forecast until maybe Tuesday or Wednesday of next week with a couple of weak weather systems. We've got clearing skies taking place over central Indiana now and really that's the difference between last night and tonight. We're going to have a longer stretch of clear skies allowing those temperatures to drop 55 degrees in Indiana. Indianapolis now winds are out of the northwest at 10 miles per hour. Uh, 56 39. Those are the numbers from today running 10 cooler than the average in the high category and running six cooler in terms of the low category. 39 was chilly this morning. We did have some patchy frost in the outlying areas where we didn't have the cloud cover. 26, by the way, is the record low. A freeze warning for all of central Indiana with those temperatures forecast at or slightly below freezing for most of the area late tonight and early tomorrow morning. We do have sunshine in the Thursday forecast. Highs tomorrow will be in the low 60s. We go even warmer upper 60s on Friday afternoon again with plenty of sunshine and your seven day forecast includes 70s and another sunny stretch 62 tomorrow.
tomorrow, 67 on Friday, and then 70s arrive for the weekend and stick around through a good part of next week. 70 with sunshine Saturday, Sunday 72 will be in the low to mid 70s Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. So weather wise today, pretty chilly still. Oh, we struggled 50s again today. Mm -hmm. uh, not as cold in a lot of locations last night because of the cloud cover. Those clouds leave us so even colder tonight. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason the National Weather Service went ahead and issued that freeze warning. And that's the reason we have a weather impact alert for you. When tomorrow morning the impact lows at or slightly below freezing for a few hours early tomorrow, what you need to do is get ready for the cold. Now I'm going to show you a list. It's a big list. You don't have to do all of this tonight, but be forward thinking because the cold air is coming. Uh, disconnect the outdoor hose. That might be something I would go ahead and do tonight. Put away the outdoor furniture, check your furnace filter, and perhaps make an appointment for a tune up. Clean the gutters and reverse those ceiling fans. Just a few things we can do to get ready for the cold air. It is cold, only 50s today, but a warm up is coming 60s tomorrow and 70s by the weekend. So you might wait to clean the gutters until all the leaves are down or start it this weekend when it is uh, much more mild in terms of rain chances. Nothing until maybe Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Skies are already starting to clear. It's the reason it is going to be a colder night. 57 degrees in the capital city. We have a north wind at 10 miles per hour. 56 39 today cold enough for some frost, but it will be even colder tomorrow morning. That's the reason for the freeze warning 66 and 45 are averages. Sunset is at 704. Lots of sunshine tomorrow will start the day cold and the day in the low 60s. We go even warmer on Friday afternoon into the upper 60s, and then I have 70s on the way for the upcoming weekend. 70 with sunshine Saturday, 72 on Sunday will be in the low to mid 70s, a good part of the early half of next week.